Yes, and on this Friday, we are celebrating the Chinese New Year for our party on the plaza, and you can celebrate it too this weekend in Grand Prairie. We are live from Victory Park. Thank you for waking up with us here this morning. I'm Ron Corning. Yes, it is the year of the dog, otherwise known as the year of the man. <laughs> <laughs> hey, this is supposed to be a good year for most people. Born in 1982, I was born in the year of the dog. So this is it. Everybody care. We were talking mm -hmm. about this, actually. So we'll probably I get know. to that a little bit later. I was born in the year of the pig, which does not sound nearly as bad. <laughs> uh, it's not nearly as bad as it sounds. Year there are some good qualities. Yeah. <laughs> Compassionate is one of them, so there. Ah, uh, and our party on the plaza is kicking off to this morning as we celebrate the Chinese New Year. Yes, it is the year of the... This is Kara's year, people. I mean, if you didn't know already, she landed a gig here at WFAA. If that wasn't the first sign that this was her year, I don't know what was. So happy new year to all the dogs out there. The big old dogs. Who let the dogs out? Uh, we'll be back in just a moment. Our party on the plaza is hopping outside right now. So why do we have these dogs outside? Well, it is the year of the dog as we celebrate the Chinese New Year. And you may be able to take one home for yourself. We're going to be out there this morning celebrating on Newsday Daybreak. Uh, Ed, we are celebrating the Chinese yes. New Year, the year of the dog. Our party on the plaza is ramping up here on this Friday morning. Stay with us. We'll be back here. You see that? That's yes, well, we've got some folks here who are celebrating the Chinese New Year, and they don't seem to be psyched out at all. They've been performing for us here all morning for today's party on the plaza. Yeah, they've had people on their shoulders this morning. We are up with them, and when we come back, we're going to have more on this huge festival happening all weekend. We are celebrating Chinese New Year this morning, and I am inside this beautiful cherry, but we have a lot of beauty here on Party on the Plaza this morning, and we are ushering in the year of the dog. I know I was born in 1982, the year of the dog, so we'll see what this year lies ahead for all you dogs out there. This morning, I've got Matthew Lowe joining me. He is with the Asia Times Square Lunar New Year Festival that's kicking off, and this is a special weekend. Absolutely. It's the greatest weekend for the Asians. Lunar New Year is the biggest and most celebrated holiday for us. And you're walking us through some of the things we can expect to find this weekend. What do you have here on your table? Uh, these are all traditional flowers and sweets and candies that we usually eat during the Lunar New Year. So here's a, one of my favorite. I want you to try this one. This is the sweetened lotus seed. And what is it about the sweetened lotus seed that's so special? Well, you know, during the New Year, what you want to do is eat something that's sweet. Okay. And all, all of these will bring good luck to you. Ooh! Mm. You know, I was expecting it to be hard, but it's nice and soft. Uh, and here's another one. Here's my, one of uh, my favorite, too. It's coconut. Ooh, okay. I love yeah. some coconut. So this weekend, people need to come out and expect a good time and lots of fireworks or and firecrackers. Yes, we're going to have lion dancers and dragon dancers, martial art performance, uh, performance, and like I said, firecrackers. So bring your earplug. It's going to be loud. Okay, it's okay. Be loud. We are going to meet too. We've got some dogs. We mentioned it's the year of the dog here. So you are doing a special event this weekend at the SPCA of Texas. We sure are. Yes, these two cuties, Lisa and Zach, are going to be at North Park Center tomorrow. We're going to be there at 11 a.m. Be there till 7 p.m with the um, the Crow Collection of Asian Art. And so these guys are going to be available for adoption along with a lot of other cutie pies. We're super excited about that. And just a, it's a great time to adopt always. Maura Davies, thank you very much. We're going to get to our loud and put in the earbuds music here with our Lunar Dancers momentarily. So stick with us for that, Ron. We're having a good time out here on Party on the Plaza. All right, we're looking forward to it. Kara, thank you very much. Okay, we're celebrating the year of the dog. On the plaza as the big festival takes place this weekend and we've got our lion dancers outside helping us usher it in on this friday good morning thanks for waking up with us i'm kara Sewell. yeah time to kick off the chinese new year so happy to have them here with us on this friday and our party on the plaza continuing this morning as we celebrate the year of the dog on this chinese new year they are up here with us early this morning and we are so happy they are our celebration continuing when we return here in just a moment We party on the plaza on Chinese New Year. Uh, we're back here with you at 624. 
celebrating the Chinese New Year this morning as we usher in the year of the dog. We are having our party on the plaza as we get ready to celebrate the Asia Times Square Lunar New Year Festival this weekend. Good morning. Thanks for waking up with us. We are partying on the plaza this morning. Chinese New Year is here and there is a wonderful festival this weekend. We're getting you ready for it and telling you how to have a wonderful 2018 in the year of the dog. Welcome back. We are here on Party on the Plaza, and it is a big one as we're celebrating the Lunar New Year, Chinese New Year, with more than 1.4 billion other Chinese people from around the world here. And I'm joined with Matthew Lowe of Asia Times Square here, yes. the Lunar New Year Festival. And there's so much to get to here, but we're going to talk about one of the amazing traditions, Matthew, and you're going to tell us all about the red yeah. envelope. At Asia Times Square, we're all about preserving tradition and promoting culture, and this red envelope is the most important thing of the Lunar New Year. So I want to give to you oh this red envelope. Is there money in it, though? Oh! You might be a millionaire. <laughs> That's what I need. And red is a very auspicious color that people can wear to celebrate yes. the new year. Red is lucky color for us. And that is why I'm wearing it right now. And there's so many other good omens. And of course, we're going to talk some more about this on I Am Still Up in our post show. So please be sure to join us. We're going to be talking about if the year of the dog is going to be an auspicious lucky year for you. Right now, we are going to take a beautiful view of a lion festival dance here. A taste of what you'll see this weekend. Thanks for watching News Day Daybreak.